my favorite thing to say is that when I came into this fellowship, I thought that I was going to really focus what my interest in education was. And that started actually by drastically expanding what my knowledge of education was. I feel like I've learned about so many groups that I didn't know existed and so many ways of approaching education that I didn't know were possible. And it's been a really great way for me to be able to find out what my future in this field is going to look like. So when I was a graduate student at the Albert Einstein College of Medicine, I started to volunteer for an after-school mentoring program at the New York Academy of Sciences, uh, where I would go once a week to teach fourth graders about science and then sixth graders. And I quickly found that that was my favorite part of the week. I was looking forward to it more than anything. I, I realized that I wanted to go into a career in um, education and outreach, and I found this fellowship, and it just seemed like the perfect fit for me. Um, finding out that I was at a place in my career where I was looking for this transition and it gave me such a perfect opportunity to transition into this education space. So when I started my fellowship at the National Human Genome Research Institute in their Education and Community Involvement Branch, and while I was there, I was able to work on National DNA Day, which is a nationwide celebration of DNA Day, which celebrates the discovery of the structure of DNA in 1953 and also the completion of the Human Genome Project. So National DNA Day has been considered national before only in name. Most of the events have been structured around the DC, Virginia, Maryland area. And what I was able to do uh, while working with Dr. Carla Easter and some of the people in uh, NHGRI was talk to people throughout the country and be able to schedule events to celebrate DNA Day in 37 different states and we had over 225 events throughout the country. In combination with ASHG and PG Ed, we worked on an Reddit Ask Me Anything series where we had six prominent geneticists, well five and the National Society of Genetic Counselors media panel do Ask Me Anythings for a week and ended up reaching over 55 million people with these events. And we also had a Twitter chat, which was, again, sort of our national celebration, where we were able to ask questions about what the public wanted to know about genetics. And while I was at the American Society of Human Genetics, for my second rotation, I worked on the bi a bioinformatics lesson plan aimed at uh, AP Biology students, where we're taking students from the DNA sequence to the protein structure and having them look at how changes in the DNA sequence can affect the protein structure and how that can lead to disease. Um, and I was also able to work on the BEGIN workshop, which is aimed at undergraduate teachers and how they can be able to incorporate genetics into their lessons. For my third rotation, I'm working at the New York City Department of Education, where I'm able to actually work on two projects, one at the main office, which is held in the Tweedy Courthouse, where I'm able to work on uh, a mentor guide for high school students who are looking for science mentors for their independent research projects. And then the other project that I'm working on is at this place called the Environmental Study Center, which is this really unique location that the Department of Education in New York City has, which is a field trip location that's like a lab and a zoo and a farm all combined into one where the students of the New York City schools can go. And I'm creating a lesson plan for them on genetically modified foods. I could not more highly recommend this fellowship. I think that it has been such a wonderful opportunity as someone who knew that I wanted to make a change in this world with science education and being able to figure out what that will look like for me and hopefully being able to create the network that will help me do that has been a life-changing